So what are your general rules or our general rules related to return to play? When you're symptom free at rest, you begin a graduated aerobic exertional um, testing. So we put you in, we test you, put you on a treadmill, do some different things, to try and figure out how, how you're responding and then decide whether to continue or stop, no go. You became a lot worse. It's not a good idea. You need to check what we do and all the time is we ask about headache, nausea, dizziness, and fogginess. Now, I guess you could add other symptoms too, but those are the ones that we find most helpful in clinical decision making. And when they're asymptomatic following exertion, then neurocognitive testing should be completed. So if you're not getting symptomatic during exertion, it's not a bad idea to do the neurocognitive testing if it's available to you to make sure that they're back to their baseline level. So that's the concept out there, okay? So on symptom-free, we begin this graduated exertional program trying to increase heart rate. And we have, like I said, a minimum of one day at each level is what the guidelines say and you progress within that 24-hour period, but you've got to have a balance. So Dr. Muke in one of the other courses talked about how some of these kids have mood issues, they get depressed, and do you really want them sitting in a black hole for f three, four weeks and doing nothing? And the answer in my mind, and I think hers also is, no, that's not a good idea.